This is Pinoy in Australia online channel, a Pinoy Pride online channel that champions the goodness, beauty, and richness of Filipino culture, traits, and talents here in Australia and all corners of the world. And most importantly, to declare the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pinoy in Australia online channel. Usapang Pinoy, enjoy Pinoy. Welcome to the new season of Pinoy in Australia online channel. Usapang Pinoy, enjoy Pinoy! Born to Do It with Jeanette Valencia and Juliet Clifford. Wednesdays, 9 p.m. AEST, 6 p.m. Manila. Here on Pinoy in Australia online channel. Usapang Pinoy, enjoy Pinoy! Hello! Hello, hello! Good evening, Melbourne! Hi, How are you? How I'm was your right. recent trip? I know. How was your recent trip? It was good. I just got back yesterday. It was nice. It's full of um hiking, lots of seafood. So yeah, I had yeah. a good time, really. your, your photos and videos of the hike. It was good. What was the the mountain called? Oh, it's called Tidal Mountain. Have you been? I think I only went to Hobart though. Which part of Tasmania oh, did you go? That's Cradle Mountain is probably four hours away from Hobart. It's a bit far. Uh, or almost five. Yeah. But it was fun. The, the hiking was great. We did like eight hours hiking for the whole day. Wow. It was yeah. Full on. Like when you hike the Cradle Mountain, there wala silang ano, walang hawakan. So you really yeah. have to like, like it's so steep and it's like massive. Yeah. Like, rocks everywhere you just kind of like hold into it so it's pretty yeah. cool yeah yeah um, um, so that's just like the one in canberra there's really no poles not like the mm -hmm. 1000 steps that you know when you're tired you can still hold on to something yeah. um that one also yeah no but it's breathtaking the view where mm -hmm. where you were from where you it's went so worth it. like it's it's just so nice yeah. Was it colder compared to Melbourne? It, was Tasmania I colder? I feel like every town got different weather. It's like Melbourne, Kunwade. Like we got to Hobart and it's like super sunny. I was wearing dress. And then for 45 minutes away from Hobart, which is Mount, Mount Wellington, it's like, it, it's like foggy, super cold. I have to like wear my winter clothes. And then we went for another hiking again on the day and it was raining and then we went to a different town. It was sunny. It's, the weather was crazy. It's like Melbourne. Did it, yeah. Didn't you struggle if it's like a bit, the if it's a bit rainy and wet and then you have to hike? Um, was it safe? Really. It's raining, but it's more like just shower really. It's not really raining, raining, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Diva. So for anyone who's watching us tonight, um, me and Juliet were live from Melbourne. And um, if anyone's watching, what's your favorite hike 
or what's your favorite place to visit um anywhere Australia. in Australia so we can read your comments mm. yeah there hi Claire good evening and Venus C. Mendoza is also watching oh. so Claire is Juliet's um sister hello good evening to everyone <laughs> there so now let's let's um let's watch a quick video and then we will introduce our superstar oh, no. guest for oh, tonight. Are you excited? I'm so excited to finally interview him. Yes. <laughs> I think I think we will all learn um from our guests. A lot inspiring a lot. talents, models, and yeah. actors who are watching mm -hmm. us right now all over the world. I think mm -hmm. we'll learn a lot from him because I think this guest of ours, he really is trying and he's successful in, you know, in doing runways, in doing commercials. So without further ado, let's watch this quick video and we'll call we'll call our special guest. Wow! Nice and quick. Actually, actually, I messaged him. I messaged him um that first time that I saw the commercial because you can really see that it's him. You know, it's not like oh, is this Juliet? I'm not sure. So yeah. Without further ado, let's call Kenneth Edrelin. Ano to? Pinaka talented sa buong Melbourne. Charot. Yeah. I think international. I know. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, hi, hi. Our gorgeous guest, also from Melbourne. How are you? Good evening, mga bebot. I'm good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my bebot. Yeah. Um. Before we start, before we start, we have a lot of good questions for you, and definitely a lot of our viewers will be um learning from you. Mm. Would you like? to greet your um anyone who's watching your family and friends because we um they can actually watch us on spotify on youtube mm -hmm. this is recorded so they can watch it again tomorrow on facebook so can you greet can you greet our family your family and friends hello everyone, my friends who are watching uh supporting and sa mga tao sa Pilipinas, hello sa inyo at sa ibang bansa, hello rin sa inyo lahat. Yan. Where are you um, from, Kenny? Are you from which city nga? From Philippines? I'm Zamboanga. Zamboanga, yes. Mm. What, do they speak any dialect in Zamboanga? Um, Zamboanga, they speak Javacano, so it's broken Spanish, yeah. Can you yes, still okay. speak Javacano? Well, I speak more Spanish than Chapacano. Uh, I'll give you a true story. So I moved to England oh. and they teach Spanish and French at school. Oh. And be more attractive. So I decided I'll learn Spanish and French. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's my assignment for this year, Juliet. I really want to learn. I was in love with French since, I don't know, 15 years uh, ago. So I know just maybe 10 words. But Spanish, I think it's nice to learn as well. Yeah. So Kenny can be our Spanish teacher later uh, on. <laughs> si ano si Kenny? Madami yung ganap. Ano yan? Si, singer ka ba din ba? Si, are you well singer? rounded. Something as well. He can dance pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yeah. He's a model, international model. Ano pa ba? Wait. Ano, <laughs> ano yan? Best, best comfort din yan. Best the, high. Comfort. The Melbourne Fashion best Festival. Model. I think. It's just started today. Buti wala kang runway tonight. Oh, kasi lagi ko siyang na, nakikita sa Melbourne Fashion Week. Oo, ako idol ko talaga to si Kenny. So, let's start muna. So, we'll just call, uh, would you like to be called Kenny, no? Kenny o Ken. Oh, girls. Pero favorite ko yung nickname mo talaga na Ken. Ken's, I like the one Ken's Curls. Ah, oh, Ken's Curls. So, yun nga, taga Zamboanga ka, and then you can speak Tagalog, Spanish, and French. And when did you move to Australia? To be exact, March 18, 
2007. So I'll be here for 15 years soon. Oh, wow. wow, yeah, in a few wow. days or 15 years. Diba? Mm -hmm. And then, kilala namin yung isang sister mo, si Pauline, na very beautiful and talented din. Pero uh -huh. how many other siblings do you have? I have one older brother. He's a personal trainer. You can follow his personal um, page through Polis Fitness um, through Instagram. I also have a half-sister and she lives in the Philippines. She's a medical doctor. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, diba? Talented family yeah. talaga sila. Talaga. Diba? And then, I mean, he's one of the Miss um, Philippines. Miss Philippines, ba mo siya na Philippines? Or he's one of the Miss Universe Philippines? I'm not so sure. Um, Filipinas, yeah, she's one of the candidates in here. Juliet, I know you joined also the pageants at that time. Was was there a time that you were able to see Ken or Pauline, the sister? No, I'm not. No, I'm not Ken or... during Pauline's pageant because I got invited. And then, yeah, and then, si, kasi, si, kasi si Kenny, siya yung taga-cheer sa sister niya. May dalang kaldero yan doon, just ko. <laughs> Taga-cheers yan sa sister niya, may dalang kaldero. <laughs> wow! I can hear me doon. Sali ko, ano to? Extra to, ha? <laughs> um, but because there's only a few of us, um, so I said, I have to make really loud noises. So instead of, like, okay. I'll just pop in pants. And mm. yeah, it made really loud noises, so. Yeah. That was good. And if about oh um when we when we were doing FASEC, si Juliet kasi um oh di ba may time pa ako na ka reply. <laughs> that's that's my friend Velvet from um Sunshine Coast. Hi, Actually, di ba na baha ang Queensland. So yeah. good thing all my friends are okay in Queensland. So that's good. sobra para hanggang leeg, hanggang leeg yung water. Yeah, just I think two days ago. Uh -huh. uh -oh. So I'm not sure kung nasa Tasmania ka pa nun, pero bumaha dito sa Queensland. So, alam mo, ayun, alam mo magkasama, magkasama kami ng mga siguro two days ni Kenny sa Queen sa Tasmania. <laughs> wow! Um, where did you guys go then? Masarap ba ang mga restaurants doon, mga cafe? Yeah, the, the, the seafood was nice. That was amazing. And then I caught up with Kenny at Wellington, Mount Wellington. That was the first day. And then we went for hiking, and then Kenny, he's scared of heights. <laughs> really? I, I didn't. Also, it was actually high. Huh? So we went to Mount, and you have to like rock climb a little bit. That was oh. like very steep and slippery. Well, the other story, Juliet, you have hiking boots. That's um, true. I had like runners that's really old. So, <laughs> didn't plan the trip plan at all. I'm very blessed that Juliet was there. I was just following. <laughs> I know. Um, I know you also did triathlon in Tasmania, pero later ikwento natin yung sa triathlon mo. So, um, I know you have a day job, and then you do the creative stuff um on the side, like me and Juliet, isn't it? So, um. Are you hesitant to leave your day job just like we do? Or, you know, did you ever think of just doing your creative, like modeling, acting, commercials, full time? Yes, I mean, that's always been a goal or dream of mine. Um, at the same time, we have to be wise with the right timing. So sometimes you have to be prepared. Again, people might say, contrary, that you cannot be that prepared. Um, but for me, I feel like, I have to be really prepared when I quit my day job. And I also told myself that I my day job when I make double of what I get um, from, from my creative job. So I am blessed to have uh, my day job. It's a very rewarding job that I do. And um, I help a lot of people with my day job. And with the creative job, it does, it does not feel like a job because it's something that I really enjoy. So. Um, after working a full time full time shift, I'll be beca I'll become a creative and I'll be working till like twelve at night time. Whether it's um, dancing or singing or acting, and and I sleep for eight hours still. So, oh, so no balance. 
Kaya yan, alam mo, nung nasa Tasmania kami, as in, sabi niya, I need eight hours of sleep. Sabi ko, okay. Oh, di ba? We can, we can really learn from Ken. Eight hours sleep. Yeah, because I really try to, but I think sometimes I only have six hours sleep. Uh, but there are days that maybe, I guess, you can have ten hours sleep. Just like mm-hmm. yesterday, I was like, I started sleeping at 5 p.m., Julia, like a baby. Uh, but then mo, I woke up at 1 a.m. Alam mo, alam, alam mo, you know, Kenny, um, Kenny doesn't drink alcohol as well. Like, doesn't really drink anything? No yeah, alcohol? Oh, wow. How, how do you do it, though? Well, I stopped drinking alcohol, actually. And there's a couple of reasons. Was there any reason behind it? Or you just really wanted to be healthy? Uh, I, I really want to be a creative one day. And I know that it's not going to be in my early 20s. Probably later in life. Because as an immigrant in Australia, we have to work hard to be financially stable. That's so what fair. I as a choice is I'll try to play the, the timing. I'll try to delay the aging. So that in that way, I would have more jobs. Wow. Do, do you think, Juliet, we can do that? No, babe. When, when I was in my well, doing hiking. I think, I think we reduced. Like, we only just really, you know, special occasions. Because, of course, when th- when we were all younger, we really party hard, isn't it? No yeah. doubt. But, like, right now, Juliet, lucky if we go out once in a week. Yeah. I don't know. I feel old now. Just go. Yeah. But when we do, at least we make sure that we really enjoy, you know, socializing. But I hope, I hope, yeah, I hope we can do that too. Because that's that's really good for us to delay aging, isn't it? Yeah. Or- not, just, not just going to the derma, not just going, um, getting facials, but yeah, reducing the alcohol. If, if not, if it's, if like we cannot stop it. So let's talk about your hobbies. So, of course, because you know um, a few languages already. So what other languages do you want to learn that you don't know yet? Um, well, I actually went to um, a school that's filled with Indian and Pakistan people. <laughs> so I'm a little bit and I, I do respect Indian people very much. Um, they are my dear friends, and they are very smart people, very, very good with maths. So um, I'm trying, and I lived in Italy for a little bit. So the town that I lived in at Italy, it, um, they only sp- they did not speak English, Spanish, or French. So I was born. Mm-hmm. So, so my fifth and sixth language is Italian and and um, Indian, Hindi. Um, but I really Mandarin because I'm quarter Chinese, and of, as well Russian, German. I love German. Yeah. And Portuguese, yeah, Portuguese. I tried, I, I have like an Indian friend that I've known for, what, 10 years. I tried learning, but I think I'm lucky to know one word. And then now I can, I, I can't even recall what's thank uh-huh. you in Indian. You know, when you learn how to speak language, then you you kind of like remember it for a day, but then the next day I'm like, mm, I can't remember. Italian, yeah. I learned, I learned in age care how to speak Italian. Yeah. Definitely, Juliet, you know this too. Andiamo, andiamo, mangiare. Yeah. Also, te um, and te some some no? Italian words sound like um, Greek words too, isn't it? Oh, or okay. some, some Greek can understand Italian words. So I think those two languages are easy to to um, learn, just like Spanish and Tagalog, the Filipino language. So, all right. I'm fluent, Kenny. Sorry? Can you speak fluent Italian? No. <laughs> no, I'm just learning Italian. So I speak more Spanish. Um, but just with with Italian and um, with Greek language, the characters are quite hard to read. Um, yeah. And just to remind you, thank you in Indian is Hindi or Shukriya. Is it Shukriya? Is it um? Hold on. Oh, I forgot. Yes. Wait, are, shukriya. Shuk, shukriya. Shukriya. Mm. What about Namaste? That's thank you to you. Yeah? Namaste. Oh, Namaste. Apka se o. 
How are you? Yeah, yeah, I think that one. I know that no, one too. In India, like. आप कहा से हो मेरा नाम केनेस आप सुनने के बाद आशा लगता है वाओ अंगलिंग हां बाय व्हेयर आर यू नो आई आई थिंक दे कॉलिंग मी एट वर्क मे बी द वन हु सोन ज्यूती डिडंट नो दैट आई एम गोइंग एट 11 वेल आई कॉल देम इन अ बेट व्हाट कैन वी डू She's calling me. I think they changed the person. So, uh, Ayon. So now that you've mentioned that you want to delay aging, is there any workout um, that you do? Um, exercise. What's your secret? Favorite workout. Um, abs, ab roller. Um, I actually have this problem that if I do not have abs, I do not get out of the house. So, wow, Julian! Yeah, look at that. that. He did mention that he was like, "Oh, I don't really like to go out if I don't have abs." I'm like, "Wow, that's like straight." Wow, Juliet. Me like lucky if I got abs. That's it. I'm thankful. And then pagwala, on pagwala. Then okay, let's work it out. Oh, you know, I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have a lot of share as well, especially during like um, especially like how to save money and like you know like. You know, money wise, Kenny is so good in that aspect. Then, so when when you guys travel, um, do you a lot a budget for food? Do you like divide? For example, on a six day trip, do you say, "Oh, I'm only gonna spend five hundred for um, food, drinks, hiking, everything, entrance, whatever"? Or it's more do like, you, Kenny, do like, you a lot? Do you budget stuff, or what happens? Let Juliet answer. <laughs> What's that? Huh? I'll let Juliet answer first. Yeah. Okay. Because for me, I have like a budget in my mind. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be in this place, or my maximum spend would be this much. Like I'll say, oh, okay, I'll spend grand in 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 for like six days. Like I'll try have that limit, but like I'll try to go lower. But I'm like, you know, but I always try to do free activities. But I do like trying food. I have this problem of like trying food in every town. Yep, yep. <laughs> that's my problem. Like, mm, okay, I'll have this one. Yeah, I'll have that one. But yeah, so but I always have that budget there. But if I go off, if I go over on that budget, I'll be like, mm, I'll see how we go. Yeah. Eto si Kenny ang galing nito. How about you, Kenny? Teach us a few. Um, teach us a few of your budget. Tricks. Budget tricks. Actually, for me, um, I'm not really that strict at traveling. It's just because my daily lifestyle is I don't spend a lot of money already. So when I travel, I try not go to restaurants. That's to avoid food poisoning because if you have food poisoning, you cannot go hiking. You cannot go out. Sure. So I like buying avocados um, from the grocery and then bread and um, boiled eggs. <laughs> so that's like my daily food. Um, mm -hmm. That's healthy as well, you know. Like you go for the meal and stay healthy. That's and carrots and cherry tomatoes for snacks, um, nuts, and yeah, bring brown rice so that if ever we're stuck, you cook brown rice because it's wow. very oh, like you don't have to bring a lot, but it becomes a lot. So you, yeah, like a miracle food, you can feed feed like seven thousand people with brown rice. So mm -hmm. oh, brown rice. Um, I think. Yeah, like me, like um, among the other fruits, I think banana is filling. So when you do hiking or you you want a simple breakfast, because me and Juliet sometimes we don't want to eat too much um, yeah. for breakfast like that. Yeah, I think you just have to choose which food is like healthy and heavier, like nuts definitely when you go hiking, nuts or even an apple, because an apple can really Make your stomach um full with mm. sugar as well for energy, but yeah, an apple in Australia is not that expensive. Even bananas, isn't yeah. it? So it's good. <laughs> you get free um banana or like free fruits. That's but... for kids, though. You know, I always have you have you gotten a free fruit from that fruit basket? Then it says kids. I always wanted to get, but I'm like. <laughs> I, I use Jason. I'm like, I didn't get one. 
<laughs> no, I, you think I, Juliet because Juliet can get and then she can say it's for Jaden and then she will eat it in the car. <laughs> uh, chica mo, Kenny? Um, chica, no, for the food, um, that's that's it. And then for accommodation, I like camping, um, because we we live like we sleep in our bed. Like, yeah. True. So why not try something different? So sleep in a tent. It's very fun. It keeps your back straight because it's not that soft so that you will not be hunchback of Melbourne. <laughs> um, what else? Um, if you want a shower, you go to the toilet, table toilet and bring a plastic bag. You fill that plastic bag with what? water. Raise it to security. So Did you do that in Tasmania, Kenny? <laughs> Did you do camping in Tasmania? Camping, everything, yeah. But did you have to bring everything from Melbourne to Tasmania or you rented it out? Baby, you have tent with him. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have tent, I have cooking pot. Yeah. Um, Should we do that, Juliet? Maybe we'll we'll go to Canberra and really camp. That's why I said, I just spoke to Kenny before. I said to Kenny, I'll go with you because Kenny is so good with traveling, really. Okay, can we go to Can? Can we go to Canberra? Yeah, can you go Darwin and do that, Ken? Please, I really want to go to Northern Territory. I feel I'm like Ken can travel with Anna. Yeah. He can travel like in a fun way, but not spending so much money because you don't have to spend yeah. so much money for fun, you know, or like to go somewhere nice. You don't have to. Yeah. That's true. But I, I hope I hope we can travel with Kenny soon, and then we'll learn. We'll learn from the expert. <laughs> so, um. Talk, uh, um, let's talk about your triathlon. So for the people who doesn't know what tri triathlon is, um, can you tell us what it is? What do you do? And how was your first time finishing the triathlon? <laughs> so I did a triathlon, which is running, swimming, and biking, riding the bicycle. And there's a total of 20 kilometers. It's not too much. But it's at Barwon Heads. So if you do not know what Barwon Heads is, it's um, a very nice, beautiful ocean <laughs> close to Torquay, which is a very clean ocean. Um, and it's it's a very big achievement for myself because um, I did last month I didn't even know how to swim properly. So I trained for the past four weeks um, to learn how to swim. And I'll tell you, the first 10, like 50 <laughs> meters, I already myself upside down and I was doing a survival stroke. So um like a doggy paddle, like swimming like a dog like yeah. I asked. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm good at that too. Swimming just, like a dog. Just to survive. And yeah. There was eight hundred and eight people. So imagine everyone swimming and there's this slow slow person blocking the way for everyone. So Aww. do you have to like swim like Sobang Layo? I was gonna ask that one. Every triathlon is different distances. So the one I did was 400 meters. It's not that far, probably one traffic light to another traffic light. Okay, oh. Juliet, we can do that, I think. One traffic light to another traffic light. I can swim, but I'm just so scared of sharks in Australia, really. Correct, so the, the ocean is quite thin that we swam at Barwon Heads. But I feel like if there is shark, they will not eat you first because there's other people before you and behind. You. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Cause it's so scary. Like I was gonna like learn something lately, but then the news came out last week. Diba my shark attack, Sydney. Yeah, I think it's every month in Australia, like everywhere in Australia that I hear that there's like shark sightings. And yeah. if you've seen the Philippine Times recently, um, a kid who just came here um, three months ago was, yeah. died from box jellyfish. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Like that. So I think I just saw that yesterday. Um, yeah. He, he was just in the ocean for 10 minutes and the dad, the dad saw him dying. Oh, shit. They were able to take him to hospital, but yeah, mm -hmm. in an hour he died. And 15 years old, who is very new in Australia. That's so, so that's sad. very sad. Very wow. bad. That was um, I, think, I think we need to be careful. But 
with triathlon there's a lot of people joining you so i think it's yeah, safe okay. I think Kenny would be really, really safe because there are a lot of people who are Yeah. And there's also lifeguards yeah. everywhere. So if you're scared of drowning, um, either your competitors will save you or your or the lifeguards. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So after that's... After swimming, what's after that? Is it running? I'll tell you another story. Because I just came back from Tasmania. I did yeah. not swim with, with goggles because I couldn't, I couldn't find it. I can't find my goggles. I was swimming in the triathlon without goggles. Yeah. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you the only one that nine nine na ka ano? Yes. <laughs> They're like, oh, look at me. Like, what this guy doing? <laughs> and um, and definitely no one um no one brought um an extra goggles for you. And then no, because of COVID. Babe, every, every time you take photo with Kenny, Kenny is extra all the time. He always does this move. And I, yes. and I was I was like watching his Instagram story like a picture kaya ta dun sa triathlon and then you were like doing the post na ganon ganon swimming so, yeah <laughs> yeah after so, swimming you have to cycle ride the bicycle oh, and wow. it's really nice yeah. one side is a golf course and the other side is the ocean so it's a very nice view wow, wow. and, and how, long, how long did you finish the triathlon? An hour and 13 minutes. So okay. I'm very careful because some people are injured, but I was trying to be really careful. And I wasn't there to win. I was just there to finish and yeah. not That's have a hard me. Time. That will be me. Ju Juliet usually is fast. Then I'm dragging, I'm slowing her down if we go together <laughs> because I struggle. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think, Juliet, we can do a triathlon? At I least we can have another model. Maybe I could do swimming and biking, but I'm just, I just can't swim, really. <laughs> no, um, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Like, don't yeah. be scared. Don't be scared. And there's so much people, like, for me, every time I want to stop or rest, people behind me, come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. You can no. do it. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. So, but that's good. Yeah. I, I like encourage everyone to do it, yeah. Yeah. People are inspiring you to finish. Did you get medal? Try it one. Like you're not yes, the ending. You get first, second, third. Oh. <laughs> I was 415. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it means a few people are slower than you. Oh, uh, yes, that's correct. So, as long as I wasn't the last, um, yeah. it doesn't matter. Like for me, I didn't even, I just, I looked at it a couple of days later because I was just very happy that I finished. That's um, good. And so, the, babe, the thing that he did a lot of hiking in the Tasmania days before his trial, he did so well. Because that the hiking was so, 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 so challenging there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I wish, I wish I went to Tasmania with you guys. Oh, yeah. Claire. Thank you, Claire, for sending stars. Claire Clifford. Thank you so much. Claire always um watches Claire. our Pinoy in Australia online channel. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. And so let's go to your dream job. So, um, first, how did you get into modeling? Did you really like modeling or acting since you were young or since have you been doing it in the Philippines too? Funny question. I never thought I'll do modeling. <laughs> Um, my first love was actually dancing. So I loved dancing. And then from dancing, um, I tried to do singing. And then from singing, acting came, al came along. But from acting, modeling came along. So how it worked out is um, when I was 25, um, a photographer mm -hmm. came up to me and said, oh, you can be a model. And I said, do we know this oh. photographer? Maybe me and Juliet knows this photographer. If it's from no. Melbourne. Um, no, no, she is from New Zealand. So she came up to me and she said, you have the American apparel look. I don't even know what, I don't even yeah. own any American apparel. So I'm just like, okay. Um, I was like, thank you, but I'm not a model. It's okay. And she's like, no, no, no. I want to take photos of you and you can really be a model. So I said, wow. um, I'll give you my number and I'll think about it. A month later, um, I did a shoot with her. And then the following month I got booked straight away. And then, yes, and then from there, five years from now, I, um, I still work as a model. Um, it's not something that I, I dreamed about, as I mentioned. It. I'll tell you, to be honest, growing up, I 
never really see myself as an attractive person. So it's not something that, um, that c- comes up in my head. But I'm still not attractive. I'm just but not you so artistic. Now you're like doing all the big brands, you know? Yeah. And it's, yeah, you're doing well. We'll we'll show some photos so they can see yeah. how amazing um, someone who didn't think. Who can be a model and then look at these beautiful photos that we have just just mention a few words where is this what brand runway commercial and yeah so you can share it to us yeah wow vogue oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. this was at milan in italy um yeah, so I went to Italy and I said I'm not gonna leave Italy until I end up at Vogue Italia. So you this photo can be found at online um editorial for Vogue. After this, after being at Vogue, I came back to Australia and that's how I get more jobs. Wow. wow. Yeah. Actually, Milan Fashion Show just finished. So that's oh. awesome. Milan. Um, this photo is from a Filipina photographer. She's super talented and she only shoots film. So this photo is taken in Melbourne uh, at Williamstown, and just yeah, I was run. gonna get to Williamstown's your background. <laughs> Williamstown, yeah. So what happened was the night before, after a very long night, she's like, "Oh, Kenneth, a model back out, and we really need someone. Can you come?" And I said, "I'm so tired. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter." So I said, "All right," <laughs> and that's the photo. So that's taken from Joyce, Joycey Fresh. Um, this mo- this photo is a collaboration with a hairdresser um for a hair um hair competition um and it became a finalist so mm. in, in sydney i forgot what the name of the competition is um and it's a it's a very long day so we had a as you can see the makeup artist hairdresser stylist um a full team and this was shot at the photo studio so Funny thing is, I've always wanted to shoot at the photo studio, but I did not want to pay them because, um, yeah, I'm trying to save money. So, coincidentally, this shoot was at the photo studio, and I've worked with very talented and lovely people. Um, I, one of the actresses that I work with in the series is also um, quite a, quite a, fa- a famous Australian actress. They they they're saying that she's the next Margot Robbie. Wow. Oh, yeah, because wow. Margot Robbie really is a big time now coming from, you know, just modeling wow. in Australia wow. and then now movies. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe later on we'll see you at um the movies, Kenny. I would love to. And yeah. 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 um this photo is for American crew. Um the very first time I and uh, I did a American crew. Um, and with a really, really good friend of mine, one of my best best friends, photographer, um, best friend hairdresser. Her name's Kayan, Kayan, and her Instagram is Kayan. And the photographer is actually Reniel Torres, so Filipino. Photographer. Oh, Filipino! Another, another brilliant Filipino photographer. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, Fred and Reniel, I'll I'll be doing a photo shoot with them in a few weeks this March. Oh, so I'm excited. How are you doing? Yeah, I think we're doing streetwear, so that's pretty good. I'll copy some of Kenny's mood board. Hey, I don't, you know, 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 Milan, Italy, um, and yeah, it's like, what should we wear? I said, I, I don't know. Um, I grabbed a couple of belts and connected it, and <laughs> just to the park at Milan, and it's really important to have a body photo, like a picture of your body, and um, if you're working yeah. as a model, so um, this photo helped me a lot, <laughs> get jobs. Okay. Did yeah. you... Where do you get your job? Are you with an agency or you, like you do it for yourself? I have an agency um, at the moment, but I also get um, jobs. F- I also seek work um, by myself. So I either okay. get messaged by a brand or 
That's um, nice. Or on my day off, if I know I'm not working on a Friday, I'm yeah. going to look online and look and find castings and yes. That's so this cool. Are you part of this um, Melbourne something muddles? I think you're part of it. Oh, yes. They do have Facebook groups. Yeah, um, they do have lots of job. And I look at online platforms. Sometimes if you even just hashtag on Instagram, like casting, you might see. Yeah. Or if you follow a lot of mm. casting directors or if you follow a lot of casting agencies, they will post on their stories that they're looking for an Asian person or they're looking for an African person or French person. Yeah. Or Spanish person. Um, this photo was taken at Melbourne by a photographer called James Juranke. And oh. lately, I've I've been enjoying a lot of uh, movement photos, so like bending my back. Mm. Um, and this was can, styled by myself. Can female models do that too? Like, if I'm gonna do streetwear, do you think I that's think good also for female model? Yeah, I think it's like Vogue, isn't it? It's really Kavogue, mm. Kavogue <laughs> post. Um. Well, I actually attended a, uh, a couple of modeling workshops. And they said when it comes to high fashion, you try and bend your back forward. Hmm. Um, okay. It, All I, I right. I guess, good. guys, you're going to see me on those poses this um, next week. And then we will, on, on our next, next podcast, Juliet, you'll, you'll say if it's a thumbs up or thumbs down, like that. <laughs> but it's really good. And out of out of all these um bookings castings auditions that you've done um do you have any regrets like you auditioned to something and then it didn't work out for you did you have any you know um or did you have any audition that that it didn't work out for you and what did you do do you have any instances like that of course um as a person that's older now I would like to encourage people if you are just starting up to actually do not give up and do not be discouraged. So if you do not book a job or if you do not get the job that you're wanting for, just do not give up because there's sometimes a job that's better um, or or a job that's really meant for you. For example, if you're going for a car audition and you did not get Mercedes, you might get Toyota or Alfa Romeo or Ferrari. So there's plenty of brands and the right timing is is it's got so um there is the right timing for everything so my recommendation is just to continue applying for those jobs and if it's for you it is for you if it's not it's their loss um just really have that confidence and just to continue practicing because when it comes to audition sometimes you do not have a second chance so you only have one chance to take a really good photo or one chance to say that line or that script um to impress whoever's um looking like whoever's casting you so but um, for me, I have no regrets. The only regret I have is, of course, not doing it earlier or um, or or delaying it. Because um, I always thought like other things are more important. But um, or sometimes I think I'm not prepared enough for it. But it's not me to decide. I'm not the one who is casting myself. The casting director is. So if I were you, just rock up and do your best. And if they like Hi, you. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that, yeah, Juliet was gone. Maybe internet problem. But then you're no, back I'm already. Right, I didn't want to cut Kenny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was just saying that um, if you want to go for an audition, if you want to go to a job, just go for it. It's not your job to decide if it's for you or not. It's the casting director's job. So yeah, that's, that's what fair. that's what I really learned, and that's what I put into my head every time I'll audition, and then I don't get the job because they always say in modeling or in acting that if you don't fit the brief, then maybe that's why you didn't get the job. Because yeah, I right. think. Um, if you fit the criteria that they're looking for, especially for commercials, like Kenny, being unique with the hair and everything, then you'll get the job. But there are sometimes that there are instances instances that really you will fit the brief and then you'll get you'll you'll get casted, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh yes. So sometimes it's also a preparation. Like you cannot just rock up and not be prepared. So um try to be prepared so example if you're going to go for a job that's an underwear job of course make yeah. sure that you work out before yeah. you go in that's um, true 
if it's a, a a skin job, of course, make sure that you have sleep before. Yeah. Um, yes, if you're doing a hair a hair job, make sure. So you kind of just rock up and hope for the best. Um, That's true. And then Kenny is so um, confident too with everything, really. I just fake it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes confident. practice. Yeah. I met yeah I met um, Kenny at Southern Cross Station a few days back when we went to watch Valentine's. movie a movie, and yeah, I I ask him because like me Juliet, my height is only hundred sixty three centimeters, yeah. but sometimes on my profile or on my casting I just put one sixty five centimeters anyway. It's only two centimeters. And then I'll try to wear like boots or high yeah. heels on the casting. So I feel like I would look really taller than my normal height. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Kenny said, um, it's okay sometimes because I think if they really like you, they'll like you irregardless of your smaller a little bit in height. That's true. Yeah. Isn't it? Because yeah. us being Filipinos, being Asians, we're really um, shorter sure, yeah. than the other mo models. What's your height, Kenny? My height, well, my agency height is 180 centimeters. Oh. <laughs> and I think I'm Janet. My agency sorry, height should be 170 soon, Julia. My agency height is 5'4, but I'm like 5 foot or 5'1, you know? But my agency height is 5'4. I'm like 5'4. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah, I just want to share something for Janet. So do not be discouraged if you're 163. Um, There's a model called Devon Ayoki, and she replaced Naomi Campbell 1996 for Versace. So she's still modeling. And she is um, Steve Aoki's sister. Um, so she's probably one of the shortest um, runaway models that you ever know. And But she's not she's not that tall. So it's, height is not everything. Height is just a number. Yeah, no, just it's not. Um, I think sometimes the attitude even is better than true. the height. Because even the Miss Universe last year, you know, Mar do you follow Marietta Till on Instagram? She's like the shortest um, Miss Universe. And she's short, yes. you know? I've met her in person, actually. She's oh. very... She's very like I, I see her. She's she's so um pretty. So she's got um she's very fit and yeah, she looks like she looks very, after very, herself. Yeah. And she's got a, a very charismatic smile and very yeah. smart, very intelligent woman. So when she talks so um yeah, she knows what she's saying. So mm -hmm. if if you are lacking somewhere, for example, um if you're lacking on height or lacking on something, try make yeah. it up. Try make it up by having something else so um yeah. for example for me if i if i'm going to book a runaway show i just mm -hmm. have to be a, like, a better walker than the others or be able to flip jackets um that was gonna, gonna hear si Anno, si Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> actually when i joined the fast x i asked kenny um to be my runway coach uh -huh. and then you know juliet what he told me mm. uh if I want him to be my coach. He's a very strict coach. He said, so. um, if I can recall it, he said, no Coke, no Coca-Cola, no soft I drinks, mean, I think that's um, what no do, coffee. Really There's a lot of things that he said I have to cut down because mm. um, he told me whatever you put in your body is um, going to reflect on your skin. That's Remember true. that, Ken? When I was doing Fast X and you were there, he was helping with the runway and then i said oh wow even chocolates he told me to stop mm. if ever eating chocolates okay. i wonder i i wonder if i took that chance juliet that was i don't know six years ago kenny mm. so i was way younger then mm. i don't know what could have happened if i took the chance the, um no, but know, maybe so maybe I'm under Kenny's wings now, <laughs> and we'll be doing side by side on the runway. Yeah. <laughs> Oye, pakita mo nga yung other commercial ni Kenny. I don't wanna see that one. Yung sa ano? Ano yon? Yung frozen food. Ano yon? Yung I don't know. Yung yung pagkain sa coals. Yun siya yung model. How do you, how do you call that one, Penny? <laughs> um, that's Drew McCain. So that's this is a funny one because you, you have to look really like the other thing is sometimes people think models are just like trying to look nice. Um, do not be scared to put funny faces or really weird, crazy faces. Mm, that's true. Um, yes. So sometimes that's a struggle. People think you only have to smile 
or look really nice <laughs> but sometimes they want you to look really bad <laughs> i'm watching it now <laughs> i said that's so good I, no but that's video good. janet for um the runaway for example just to show yeah true hmm. all true. right um i know you've traveled europe you, you've lived in europe and you travel also interstate so is there any other country that you want to travel or it's on your bucket list oh yes i would love to go to south america um because i've i've started learning spanish when i was like 13 probably um you're eight so second year high school and yeah i've never been to south america i've only worked at spain for two months um but i really want to go to south america see their culture the language the people um, i have a lot of south american friends and their culture i think is very similar to filipino so lots of smiles laughing dancing yeah, of dancing yeah hmm. and with all your success in melbourne do you still have any um short-term and long-term goals that you want to achieve this year or in a few years time of course of course um um, I really want to be in a film. <laughs> I want to be in a movie, but a movie that matches my values. So I'm not just mm -hmm. going to do a movie just to, just to do it. Yeah. No, I, I'm not like that. I mean, I'm, I'm at a stage now where um, if I'm new, like if I'm newer, I should say, like some people just do anything just, just to be famous. And I just yeah. want to let people know that just to be wiser a little bit more and make sure that the films that you choose to do or the exposure that you used to do do matches your values or the values that who you really are um, because the industry can sometimes change who you are so um just make yeah, sure that's true. The, jobs, the jobs that you pick really represents you for example an alcohol brand approached me before um to do like a billboard for them and i didn't want wow, to wow billboard <laughs> and you said no to that the money was good, but I still said no. So uh, I have nothing against people that drink, but it's just that I do not drink. So it's it doesn't match my yeah, value. Just for an example. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And that's like saying no to a very good opportunity, but it doesn't match yeah. um, what it's you like. It's not aligned with my values. That's correct. Yeah. That's because good. actually, um, to be honest, when I started modeling and acting in Australia, that's what that's the only thing that I told myself. Like, I'm okay with implied nudity. I've done a few, but it should really look classy. Yeah. And I always said, um, for any um project that I do, I always think that is my family gonna be proud of this if they see this, or um, if I'll have kids in the future. Like, oh, I want to make sure that everything that I have, yeah, my family and friends would would you know. <laughs> would be happy you know, some, to see me. Some so that's the only you're... thing. Have you, Kenny? Have you encountered any photographer like um like just wanna do boudoir shoot? Like oh, let's go boudoir shoot. Have you had that um experience? Um, <laughs> that just wanna ask you to do naked. Kenny photos? first, Kenny. <laughs> um, no, I don't. Yeah? I oh, feel like for me, I, <laughs> no, for me, I'm very blessed that I got to experience um like really good shoots at the start of my career that's good uh, to the point where i didn't feel like i needed to do to. to experiment with other types of shoots mm -hmm. um yes i am nothing against those things it yeah. is just that as as janet men jeanette mentioned um like the like you want the photo to be classy so what i what, what i tend to do is ask the photographers can i please see your previous work yeah and that's true because it has to work for them and for you, not just for them. Not just for them. That's true. true. Yeah. Um, I think a photographer, you check their like work. I'm like, because they want to ask like a Buddha for the shirt. I'm like, mm, okay, let me check your work. And then you know, it's kind of like, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so wanna, if, you yeah. if you don't like their work, feel free to say, um, you have you can decline. You can decline yeah. job. 
Yeah. Um, and don't feel obligated to say yes or you feel bad because again, it has to work for you. It has to benefit you and benefit them, not just yeah, one part. Yeah, especially part. with um, with, with it's it's kind of like exchange job too. Like a lot of the F we with with the follow shirts, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so you kind of like you can't just like say yes and not get anything good from it. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, that's true. And I think um, with with ladies like us. We really have to do our research um, when we do photo shoots. There, there's a few times that I really didn't have anyone to go with me on the shoot. And when okay. you're new, you know this, guys. When you're new in the industry, you really don't know who you're working with yet. Yeah, they can, they can, um, they can show you all the good stuff when you're talking to them. But yeah. I always make sure that I research their pre previous jobs mm -hmm. and who their friends are, who who other photographers are connected to them, just to make sure oh. you know that we are safe when working with them because like they can really abuse girls because i've seen i've seen a few um talents back in the day maybe five years ago that you know the photographer will book like a hotel yeah and then it's only the guy photographers there and then all the all the talents are females mm. so you know when it's just you and the photographer maybe you don't know what's happening or you can be really abused like juliet they can really say you know what you've discussed is no 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 um sexy photos but then when you're there they can tell you like you know only implied um nudity but if you didn't agree just like what kenny said you have the right to say no or you have the right to back out isn't it yeah but yes. I think sometimes, especially Asians, um, we don't voice out what we want to say. So mm. for all the talents out there, you really need to, to um, check and do research on how to do these castings, auditions. There's a lot on YouTube on how to, on how to do that. And you can message Kenny on his social media if you want some more advice. Kenny's very helpful. Definitely, he's very glad to um, he's very glad to share what he knows, especially to our Filipino kababayan who are aspiring to be a model, to be an artist, Odiba. Before we end the show, um, let's play. This is Juliet's game from our first ano episode. Yan? So we've yeah. just been doing it every episode. We'll just ask a few um, never have I ever questions oh, for Ken. But before that, let's um, greet also Charles. Charles, um, Juliet's brother-in-law is watching. <laughs> Good day. Hello. Oh, it says here, first time I saw this one. Top weekly star senders, Claire Clifford, 100 stars, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and PJ String, Hi, 50 sister. stars. I don't know how that came up, but I just saw it okay, anyway. I see that one. And then who else? Um, Rena from the other show is watching from New South Wales. Hello, Marsh. Um, yeah, Claire. <laughs> Claire, thank you so much for all your Siya support your every week, sending us stars and love and support. Uh -huh. Um, Donna Bell, there. Hi, hi Donna Bell. Ano yan? Hi, King King. She's my childhood neighbor slash cousin in Philippines. Oh, um, I'm just before we do the game. Or yeah, I'll I'll just send this one. Konting katahimikan. Yes. Sorry, wait lang. Sinisend ko lang itong... We have That's a little a surprise here. So, this is... Let's show one of um Kenny's runway. Ah, yeah. Let's see that one. Here. Yeah, let's watch this. Okay, Me and so Juliet, we're... Kenny. we're <laughs> we really love runway shows, fashion shows, and Wait, the after Kenny, parties, of course. Is it Melbourne Fashion Week or Melbourne, Melbourne Fashion Festival? Fashion Festival, are you going any day? 
I have shooting next week, but I'll see if the other days that I'm free. Yeah. You should come with us. I think we're watching the closing show if we have tickets yet, right? Janine? March 12. No, I, haven't, I haven't got my tickets. I think it's March 12. We should. Come on, guys. Yeah, I'm going then. <laughs> yeah, we should. I, I'd love to be birthday, but hopefully. watching yeah. the show with Ken. Wait, um... While we're waiting um, for the video, I just want to let you just want to what? I just want to let everyone know that in Australia as well, um, you can call the police if ever you feel unsafe in the in the shoot. Do not ever feel scared. Um, maybe go to the shoot and have your phone on recording, mm -hmm. so you can put That's it on the side crazy. and oh, really? hear conversation. Yeah, maybe oh. you can try to do that. Have you done ever... that, Like you got like a beer? I, just in for me, I did. I, I was, I'm very blessed to not even have to go to that stage. Um, where I, I've been unsafe, but you can always bring someone with you. Uh, I, I actually have a bad experience with the photographer. I did a, I did a photo shoot. Yeah. Oh, sugar, give me a second. So I did a photo shoot, and then like you know, I was like doing my shoot, doing my thing, and then, and he's a non photographer too. So he's like, yeah, he's a non photographer. He's a good photographer. I'm not gonna mention any name, <laughs> but I was there in the studio at his studio. And then he was like, okay, because like, I I agreed to like do like something clothing, like, you know, like, like a normal clothing, but like naked. And he was like, oh, can you, can you like, um, take it off? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, mm, I'm not really comfortable. Blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, just take it off. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. Yep. Yeah. It's True. just like very, sometimes you're in that situation, they're very pushy. Yeah. So. I am. Let's see. If we're ready to show your runway, I said nah. Yeah. Okay. If it's not yet ready, let's ask for a few never have I ever questions. Take it go. Um, since Juliet just came back, you can answer. And for our lovely people who's still watching us live tonight, you can answer, you can answer and answer comment well. here um on our comment box so um oh this one is a bit uh, oh never have i ever played strip poker i've never played that <laughs> i don't no, even know how to play poker no i don't even know how to play poker <laughs> No time. Pokies no time. Lang alam ko, babe. <laughs> yeah. So um oh never have I ever drunk dialed my ex. Kenny. Mm. <laughs> I don't drink, Kenny. So. <laughs> you have Kenny? I don't drink, so it doesn't Oh, oh okay. I have, I have. Even coffee drunk? Coffee drunk or Milo drunk? <laughs> I actually do not drink coffee. Um <laughs> Wow, no alcohol <laughs> and no coffee, Juliet. How can I live? I love coffee. Mm. I know. Do you play any instrument? Um, Piano. Oh, oh wow. Wow, look. Very talented. Because there's a question here. Never have I ever played a musical instrument. So that doesn't apply to you. Mm -hmm. Um... Never have I ever been nude in public. <laughs> I have. Okay, la. I'm, I'm... I swim in the ocean sometimes without clothes because I want ah, to feel. Ah, same. Me too. I, I do it for a challenge okay. for myself. Just um, I think we're like one, yeah. one with nature, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, did, Kenny, did you do the photos when we went to Mount Amos? Yeah, I did. You know, when you're... You did it? Are you serious? <laughs> I did it. And then someone came. I was like, and my friend didn't tell me that people are coming. So someone's like, people started going up there. And I, and I was looking back like, there's people here. <laughs> that was... And the people are right. like, classic photo. They said they're ready to show the video. So let's see. Let's watch this one, guys. You'll enjoy this one.
Galing. Wow. Did you <laughs> have to rehearse <laughs> that? Was it hard to do it on stage? Well, I rocked up on the show and they said, you're wearing a reversible jacket and can you please find a way to show both of it? So wow. I was, um, I really wanted to, of course, um, make, like, I want to just, like, um, I really want to show the jacket and just make the yeah. designer really proud of her work. Yeah, so of course. I was really stressed out because you only have one chance to do that, right? <laughs> Mm. Um, so you have to go to spots in the show. So we went to four spots, and then every single spot, I was like relieved. And then I'm like, three more to go, <laughs> two more yeah. to go, because you have to keep flipping oh. the jacket. So oh, I, I, really? I had to learn it on the day. So I, I did it myself, yeah. cho choreography, and yeah, now I know how to flip jackets really fast. <laughs> wow, you <laughs> should you should um post that on your TikTok. I think it's gonna yeah, be no. good. Yeah. People will be copying you, isn't it? They do TikTok, so, and Nina, be really. Not before yet. we end the show, Juliet, do you want to thank anyone? Mm, just thanks everyone for watching. Yeah, every Wednesday on Pinoy in Australia online channel. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, thank you so much for having um for joining us tonight. I think we should we should get you on another episode down the track because I think you're a very talented artist. We yeah. really, he can really really inspire lot us. Yeah. Very so inspiring. I think we should have a part two of this, maybe in depth of what you do, because I think like aspiring talents would really learn from this. And plus your your you're good with not um, drinking, mm. not even drinking coffee, and even um, saving up. So I think if if you're happy, we'll get a part two of um, Ken Curls on our we'll show. We'll do like how to saving, save money, guys. Saving money. Just, when you saving want. money is like one of my specialties. Um, yes. I have nothing against coffee. So. I mean, coffee is really nice, but... Um, I just really prefer drinking green juice, so celery juice, kale juice think, with green apple. I think that's so much healthier, honestly. Yeah. And it gives you a lot of energy. You don't need coffee, babe. We don't need coffee, babe. Because <laughs> I think this part one, it's really more of just getting to know you on the surface. But I yeah. think on our part two, yeah, I think we should help our Kababayan. Since it's 2022, you know, it's been two years that it's pandemic you can teach everyone how to save up and yeah we can save up even when we're traveling like mm -hmm. what you guys did in tasmania and doing the things that you love like hiking triathlon and still saving up isn't it camping winter camping is really nice so thank you so much for giving us your time tonight and thank you for everyone who's always supporting and watching our show Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for having me. I you had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Pira. Okay, um, and uh, yeah, yeah. Good Good evening, thank you, JJ. everyone. Stay safe. <laughs> thank you, Ian. Thank you, thank DJ you. Papa Kiko, who's always thank supporting you, us and helping us run this show smoothly, even yeah, if sometimes we're having, you know, um, internet <laughs> connection <laughs> problems. Thanks, Peter, for all your support. <laughs> I'm like, sunshine. Hello, sunshine. <laughs> Have a and, good night. Yeah, just stay bye, safe, bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Stay bye, healthy. Bye. And until our next Melbourne to do it with Jeanette and Juliet. Bye. Thank you, Kenny. We'll see you again. See you next time. Next time. Bye. Have a good evening, everyone. <laughs> This is Pinoy in Australia online channel, a Pinoy Pride online channel that champions the goodness, beauty, and richness of Filipino culture, traits, and talents here in Australia and all corners of the world. And most importantly, to declare the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pinoy in Australia online channel. Usapang Pinoy. Enjoy Pinoy. Saan, saan, Sun man